So future stars, David Beckham is here and he doesn't look too expensive. He did a bronze and silver, an 85, an 82, an 86 with a Man United player, an 86 with a team of the week, England, an 87 with a team of the week, an 87 La Liga and an 88 overall. So in today's video, we're going to show you how to grind it. So you're going to need the 85 plus player pick, the 81 player picks. On top of that as well, I'm recording before these are out. So don't forget on top of this, we have got the triple upgrades if you want to use them. I don't personally like them, so I won't. And then we have, of course, the 83 times 10, which refreshes in about two hours of me recording. So you're probably going to have this available to you if you just wait and then get it done. But we are going to start off with the step one. So if you are starting from absolute zero or you need golds in your club or anything like that, then you're going to have to do your daily bronze and silver, like I always say. Your daily gold, that's going to give you 44 golds back. Once you've done those, I've seen the question all the time, well, what do I do next? You guys are really missing out on the premium bronze upgrade and the premium silver. This premium silver gives you five commons. Do that twice. That's one player pick. It's really easy to get bronze and silvers from either doing the bronze pack method, which is opening bronze packs and going through that. Or on top of that, if you go back to upgrades again and scroll to the end, if you haven't done it already, you can actually go ahead and do the 100 birthday upgrade pack, if it's still here. And that's going to give you loads of bronzes and silvers as well. But if it isn't there, again, bronze pack method into that. Once you start building up those golds that you get from the silver upgrades that I showed you, you can then go ahead and make as many picks as you want. So with player picks, if you don't have team of the week, you need the team of the week player pick as always. But it is really simple. And then again, if you don't have a gold rare and you're only missing a gold rare, then go ahead and just buy the one that you need. Don't worry about trying to grind that one gold because you're probably going to get a gold back from the player pick that you don't need to have in anything else. So let's say you opened up one player pick and you managed to get yourself, I don't know, 381 rated players. That's your rare for the next pick. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this player pick. I just wanted to clear that up because I've been getting loads of questions about that. And that's how you need to do it. Step one's bronze pack method. There is a membership program if you want to sign up and learn how to do that and go through. So let's just say 83s and an 81. You've got team of the weeks. You don't need team of the weeks. You've done your 83 times 10. So the 83s, you've got nothing to put them in. And you're like, well, what do I do with the 83s? With these 83s, I'm going to show you right now, you might as well treat them as if they're 81 rated. They don't sell for minimum price. They don't sell for 700 coins, 900 coins, or whatever minimum price is. So use them as the rare for the player pick that you need. Now, as I always say, if you are desperate to get Beckham done and you really want him, start off with the 88 rated team first. Don't go through and do the couple cheap ones and then be stuck with 85, 86s. You do the 88 first. The reason being is you are then going to definitely complete him. You've got two months to do it. There's plenty of time, but I can't stress that enough. So you're going to have to use these player picks. On top of that, foot champ rewards, rival rewards, squad battle rewards. Use everything and objectives as well that you get packs from. Use anything and everything that's going to help you get packs. Now, we are going to go through the process on how to grind him. I have to explain that information first because you guys seem to be getting a little bit confused what you're supposed to do with those situations. And then on top of that, we are going to go ahead and do picks. Now, if you do get yourself an 89 rated player, whether that's a team of the week or a gold or a special card, if they're over 88 rated, so 89, 90, 91, etc., you can either put them into the 88 rated team or you can go ahead and put them into the exchange. So you see we've got another 83, and 81, and an 82. 82 is going to be great if you need a team of the week for the team of the week pick. I've covered that in plenty of videos, so I'm not going to mention it. But you want to go ahead and do as many of these until you can complete the 85 plus payer pick. So as you can see right now, it's an 84 overall. What I recommend doing, especially with your 83s and 84s, if you have yourself 185 like I have on the screen now, put that into this SBC to bring the rating down. If you don't, Go ahead and keep doing the 81 player picks, whether that's going to be through bronze packs into silver upgrades to get more gold commons, to get more picks. Keep doing that until you have 984s. Once you have 984s, I'll show you now, go to 83s. You should get absolute crazy amount of 83s from either doing the 83 times 10 or the player picks. And you can see this has been complete. So you can have 984s and then the top two can be 83. That gives you your first 85 plus player pick. Now, as I've mentioned several times, and just to stress again for you guys, I don't have the 83 times 10 available right now. Once it is refreshed in two hours of recording, I will then go ahead and do it. So there is our first 88 that can go into David Beckham. Now, as you can see, he's a duplicate. So there are two choices you can do. You can put him into the 83 times 10 or into the team of the week player pick as one choice. 
Or the second choice would be if you're in my situation where you have a duplicate 88 untradeable, but you don't have anything to put into Beckham because you don't have enough 88s to do David Beckham just yet. Or the 87s, you're a bit stuck. Go put that 88 into the exchange. Only do this if you have a duplicate. Don't do it if it is not a duplicate. That's going to give you 27 players. Each player picks 8, 8, 16, 32, just over. So we're going to get three picks back from putting our Bernardo Silva in. With these three picks, depending on your pat luck, can decide the next thing. If you get an 85, 84, 83, they can go into the team of the week player pick or into the 83 times 10. If you get an 86, an 87 or an 88, that can go into David Beckham. And if you are lucky enough to get yourself a promo card or an 89 or higher, that can go into David Beckham or into the exchange. You guys need to work out for yourselves which ones go into what depending on your club situation. But your number one goal, as always, should be trying to complete the 88-rated David Beckham. I'm going to open up this pack. We're going to see what we get and go into the next step. And I'm going to also show you a few tips where you can get extra high-rated fodder from just playing the game. So again, 84 can go into an 83 times 10. Then all these other gold cards can go into player picks. And then we get to the end. And the 83 can go into the 83 times 10 again. And the 82 can go into anything we want. And then every single other one will go into a player pick. As per usual, I'm rotating these one by one. Reason being is when I go to SBCs, they will be in most recent. Now, I'm going to show you, I think people are sleeping on this quite a lot, how to get high rated fodder without actually opening packs or anything like that. Now, we have got evolutions. It seems really, really obvious, but it is helpful. Like, for example, we have birthday magic available to us. If you're not using these and you don't care about the players, then what is stopping you from using an 85 Grealish, for example, and getting yourself a 90-rated car back that you could then put into David Beckham if you want to, or another one? Now, for example, we've got Chaganoglu and Grealish, both gold 85 rated. Both are going to give you 90 rated cards. So that's two 90 rated from the Evos. Yes, it is a couple games. Don't get me wrong. It may take you a little bit of time. But at the end of the day, you are getting two 90 rated cards back. Then we have the Silky Center Half, which is going to give you, if we go to our gold card, let's use somebody lower rated like an 84. Tiago Silva is going to become 89 rated. And that's going to be three games, two games, three games. So that's going to be eight games overall. You get an 89. That can go into David Beckham or another SBC you want. Then we go back again. We can go into the Radio Dynamo one, which is silver cards. Any 74 silver will then turn into a 90 rated card. Again, you need to play four games, three games, and three more games. That's 10 games altogether, and you get a 90 rated card. For doing the objective, that's going to help you with Beckham. And the same for the other radioactive one as well. Again, a 74 rated silver. It's going to give you another 90 rated card. So from this alone, you've got two 90 rated cards from the silvers. Uh, an 89 rated card of using 84 gold. And then two more 90s from 85. So that's 192, 90, four 90s and 189. Plus on top of that, EA did bring out an evolution yesterday, which I've actually used which is going to give you a 91 if you have an 86, which is going to be our Chan here, as you can see. That's from the Evolution. I did the Thunderstruck. If you don't have that gold version, it's going to be another 90 rated card. So easy to do. Do it all in squad battle. So right there is going to give you six 90 rated cards. Not including as well, if you are grinding 83, 84s from doing the picks, you have also got these players here. Now, it's really important that you remember these. For example, Grimaldo is only an 89. You need two squads. Might be a little bit too expensive. An 84 rated and an 85 of the team of the week. If you don't need Grimaldo, that can go into David Beckham. This one's the perfect example because you can pick three players that are all 88 rated. You need an 83 rated team and an 84 rated team. This gets refreshed every two days. That's going to give you an 88 rated player back. I think it is or a 90. I'm not entirely sure. Then we have got ourselves a Reese James. It's very, very cheap. Luka Bakayoko, very cheap. We've got two 88 Prem players here that can go into Beckham if you're not using them. 83 of a team of the week, and the other one is an 83 rated team altogether, I believe. And it is, yeah, an 82 of a team of the week. So again, really easy to grind. Then you have a Williamson, an 89 rated. You need an 85 rated team to do this one. From player picks, you can get that done easily, and you can go through every single time. Only then, once you've got rid of all of these, you've done all the 83 times 10s, you've done the 85 player picks, and you've done everything else, that's when you then have to start thinking of the lower ones. But again, you would have had the 88 done and the 87 done just by doing those methods I showed you. Then all you have left is an 87, an 86, an 86, an 85, an 82, a bronze and a silver. And you can get that done from player picks plus objectives and much more. Now, I know this is going to seem very obvious for a lot of people, but that's going to be your best way. And then with these cards, you go ahead and make more picks. As soon as you've done the 88, 
Anything that's 88 rated or higher goes into the exchange to give you more picks. Then once you've done all the 87s, anything 87 or higher goes back into the player picks in the exchanges as you go back round until you have nothing left. You can't grind player picks and Beckham at the same time. You have to prioritize one or the other. But that's going to be your best way. I kind of hope this makes sense. A little bit different on how to grind, but I wanted to answer a lot of questions. And I will catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and see you later.